Cursor versus Windsurf versus Replete. Best AI Dev Tool. Let's break down what makes each one shine, where they overlap, and which one might be right for you. First, let's start with the cursor, the AI Enhanced VS Code that feels like a teammate. So this one is best for full stack developers, solo devs, and teams who want a powerful context-aware IDE with deep AI integration. Okay, so what is this? This one is a fork of VS Code enhanced with embed AI capabilities. It understands your entire code base and lets you chat with code and even edits alongside you. Let's go on to key features. So whole code base understanding, it uses embeddings to navigate and reason across your project, highlight code and chat with it directly. The AI knows your function, variables, and architecture smart refactoring and suggestions move entire modules rename functions safely across files or write test instantly auto debug and fix it explains errors and fixes them in one place pair programming field cursor works with you like a human teammate so for pros and cons pros familiar with interface vs code super smart for full applications especially with lots of moving parts and excellent for building and maintaining large projects while cons slightly heavier on performance and best use when you're already coding not ideal for ideation or fast prototypes Let's move on to Windsurf. This one is the AI software architecture and your tool belt. This one is best for architects, technical leads, or advanced developers dealing with large system migrations or multi-service projects. Okay. Key features, multi-repo understands monorepos, microservices, and complex dependency trees. Feature planning design, you describe what you want to build, Windsurf plans to architecture and suggest the best path. Large scales, uh, refactors, move from one framework to another and rewrite from class-based to functional pattern, etc. Understands more than code, reads readme files, diagram tickets, systems, and API docs. For pros and cons, a godsend for legacy code and massive projects. Saves weeks on migration or architectural redesigns and helps with design consistency across the team. While cons, not ideal for beginners or casual devs and less focused on actual writing and then guiding big decisions. For Replit, this one is the cloud-based real-time AI playground. Best for beginners, learners, startup devs, and anyone who values fast prototyping and collaboration in the browser. Okay, so the key features include um, code from anywhere with zero setup, start a fight to node or Rust project in seconds, great for player coding or teaching, suggests code fix errors and explains concepts in line, easily hosts projects without leaving the browser. The pros and cons, beginner friendly with zero set of friction, great for hack, uh, hackathons, MVPs or live demos, and then good mix of learning plus building plus shipping. The cons, less powerful for large or enterprise level code bases and not as smart or context deep as cursor or windsurf for multi-file logic. So final verdict, which one is the best? For beginner or educator, you can use Replit. Full stack developer or indie hacker, you can use cursor. Architect or senior dev managing complexity, use windsurf. Rapid prototyping or collaborative coding, use Replit. Refactoring and feature planning at scale, use WinServe. Daily development with Deep AI Assist, use Cursor. And that's it. So if you want to, if you want fast, simple, and portable coding, Replit is your friend. Cursor AI is like an AR pair programmer, and WinServe is the next gen strategies in your toolbox. Thank you for watching, and see you again in our next video tutorials.